What can I say about who I am? So growing up, I was very much an isolated child. I was very much, I didn't really talk with people. I kept to myself, I kept to my own world. And I didn't have many friends. The ones that I did and the ones that I have now, I don't see my friends as friends. I see them as family. It was only when I realized that I got myself to a very big point, and that was I put on so much weight that when I smiled, my eyes closed, when I wanted to feel confident in what I was wearing. And it was then that I looked at a photo of myself someone sent me, and I didn't recognize myself. I didn't recognize the guy staring back at me. I sat down, and it sounds weird, but I spoke to myself. And I said, what are you doing? How are you doing this to yourself, your life? And I said that I needed to change then and there. I needed something that would actually push me to lose weight, that would push me to get my head together until someone went, look, you're a big fan of Pokemon. It's affected your life for countless years. It was my escape from the age of six years old. Okay, I'm gonna do it. And I set up an account and I said to my mum, I'm going to go for a walk. I put on a pair of trainers and before I knew it, what I thought was going to be a 20, 30 minute walk, I went on a three hour walk and the whole time I smiled. I went through this incredible journey in my head in three hours and went, if I can do this in three hours, what's going to happen over, say, a week, a month, a year? So we've only known each other about a year, just over a year. Um, we met when I came to university. Uh, he was one of the first people I met. We have an online website and Tommy is one of our writers for that. There are currently three of us, but we're getting a lot more people on board. It's a relatively new society, so he is official, his official title is the head of opinion articles. Nick realised something in me that I didn't realise in myself. He knew I had the passion but I didn't have an outlet. I didn't have some way of releasing that. And he said to me, these articles are really good. You don't just look at your opinion. You look at others' opinions and relate it. You try to apply to everyone, which is the importance of writing. It's the importance of being in the media industry. Where he's, I've seen photos of Tommy when he had a bit more weight on him, and he was like, oh, I, want, I want to start losing weight. And he's told me about how he started playing Pokemon Go, and it's just dropped off him, where he's been out, he's been active, and I think that in itself is one of the most positive things that's come out of Pokemon Go as, a, as an app, which is brilliant. I started setting myself little targets. Uh, I want to lose this amount of weight. I want to walk this amount of kilometers by this time. Over the year, I watched myself go from this extremely huge person who wasn't happy with his life, who wasn't happy in who he was. By the end of a year, I'd lost 10 stone. I was confident, I was smiling, I was talking to people that I never would. And I ended up taking part in a Pokemon Go group. Being part of that has changed my life. Um. Tommy first joined the group in the summer last year and he kind of joined in at the back and was quite quiet and sort of following people behind and over the time that's passed, sort of talking to people on the Facebook and passing comments, making small talk here and there, he slowly started to come out of his shell and he's just, it's just incredible to see what the impact of like joining a group and being a member of a family has, has made on his life. He's a completely different person. He was he was really like introvert and shy before and now he's just beaming with confidence. He's got so many friends and we're all around him. We've always got each other's back but he's he's doing so well. He's completely different. 
My favourite moment from Community Day is the first proper Community Day I turned up to. I ended up becoming essentially best friends with Max and my boss and several other people from the group because we, we stuck together for the whole day and just the bond that we've had ever since, right. all because of be one place. Pokemon. And after that, we'd contact each other I going, like let's do moving. this, let's do that. And yeah. we said to each other, beforehand, we probably never would have gone out of our way to find those friendships. Now, those friendships are lifelong and we couldn't imagine our lives without each other. He hadn't actually been playing it that long when I first met him and he got really into it suddenly. I remember he was doing like 20 kilometer walks a day for a while. So no, he obviously started, I started with it, I started playing the game when it first came out and I was level 40 at that time and he went in a year, went from like 1 to 40 in one go. He got really obsessed with the game. And I hold that community day in my heart so much because it was one of the best experiences I've ever had. And the fact that I got to do it playing something that's had the biggest impact on my life is something that I'll never truly be able to explain. Changing my life for Pokemon Go, as I said, I was a little over 23 stone, uh, almost 25 at one point. And it changed me, not just physically, but mentally. I went from not being happy to feeling very alone, to feeling happy in myself, physically strong, physically better. I dropped 10 stone. Yeah, it's an incredible thing to say. I did it. And looking at me now, I wish the younger me could have seen this and gone, it gets easier. But as for my other changes, I feel stronger mentally. I feel stronger physically. I feel like I can be happy and I can feel like this is what I needed. And that's what it is.